In the year 2021, seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton became Sir Lewis Hamilton after being offered a knighthood by the British Empire. Most recently, reigning world champion Max Verstappen received a similar type of special honor from the Dutch Empire by being appointed an officer in the Order of Orange Nassau. The Dutch driver made the announcement regarding this special achievement on social media after his ninth victory. This season at Spa Franca Champs, where he pushed his car from P14 to P1, showing his masterclass. Being appointed an officer in the Order of Orange Nassau is an incredibly proud movement for me and came very unexpected for me so early in my career. I want to thank my family and loved ones, but also Red Bull, who have been like a second family to me. We achieved this together. Let's talk in detail about this great honor. Before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell for more exciting updates and information about Max Verstappen and Formula One. What is the Order of Orange Nassau? The Order of Orange Nassau is a chivalric order open to everyone who has performed acts of special merits for society. This is for the people who deserve appreciation and recognition from society for the services they have carried out for the betterment of society. This was founded in 1982 during the era of Queen Regent Emma. The lower grades of the order are parallel with the Order of the British Empire in the United Kingdom, which is the most famous order in the world with knighthood. But a special feature here is titles. First names or surnames are not used in the Netherlands like in the United Kingdom. The Order of Orange Nassau has two divisions at the beginning as civil and military, which is indicated by the differences in badges. Civil one is denoted by a wreath of laurel on the badges, while the military one is by cross swords. Then the order was restructured in 1996 with six classes as Knight Grand Cross, Grand Officer, Commander, Officer, Knight, and Member. Normally a person who has performed an outstanding service to society is nominated by the mayor of the municipality where they live. This honor is not only restricted to the people of the Netherlands, but also to the foreign nationals who have done a valuable contribution to society. They are nominated via the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Max Verstappen is a remarkable figure in Netherlands history, as the first Dutch driver to win a Formula One championship. He became the world champion of the 2021 edition, and now he's on his way to clinch the second title by leading the championship standings. At September 1st, the 2021 Formula One champion was appointed as officer in the Order of Orange Nassau, a royal decoration. He received this honor from the Netherlands Minister of Sport, Connie Helder, in the presence of some of his family members and close friends. Expressing her thoughts regarding the appointment, Minister of Sport Helder said, It takes a lot more than just a talent to become a champion. Many years of hard work, of pushing and persevering. With this, you are a great inspiration to many. And in the end, as first Dutchman ever, you drove to the Formula One world title. What an amazing achievement. With this, you put the Netherlands on the map, Helder added. Verstappen said of the accolade, It is a great honor to receive this appointment. I'm very thankful to my family and close friends for their support from my very first racing years until now. The 24-year-old racing driver didn't forget to thank the Red Bull family and his Orange Army, who are the biggest supporters of his success in the last few years. Orange Army is now turning to be a constant presence at every Grand Prix weekend in any part of the world, being a huge mental support to the 24-year-old driver by wearing bright orange t-shirts and firing orange smoke bombs all around the track to show their support. I also want to thank Red Bull and my personal sponsors. Without all this support, I would not be where I am today. In addition, I want to thank my fans worldwide, and in particular, the Orange Army. Their encouragement time after time is overwhelming, and it is incredible to see so many Dutch people involved in the sport. Royal honor is not the only thing that he got on this day. This young Dutch talent also got offered license number one by the National Motorsport Federation, KNAF. KNAF President Jean de Witt said, during the award ceremony, what an achievement, what an impressive career, and what an ambassador you are for our country and our sport. We therefore thought it would be appropriate to make this small gesture. Although Horner was present when the ribbon was pinned on, the Briton once again took the time during practice to congratulate his driver over the board radio. Max, it's Christian, just from everybody in the team, many, many congratulations on your honor yesterday and your national award. 
We're not quite sure what to call you, whether it's Sir Max, Lord Max, or Super Max, but well done from anybody in the team. Max responded smiling and said they could just call him Max as always. Someone who also plays a big role in Max's career is his father, Jose Verstappen. Jose is also a former Formula One driver, but failed to mark his presence in a great way due to lack of sufficient sources. But he gave everything to his son to unleash the world champion within him, and finally, young Verstappen was able to bring a smile to his father's face by winning the 2021 driver's title. Max used a special helmet designed during his home race as a tribute to his father, Jose Verstappen. He said, I thought this year would be a great moment to show my appreciation for all the efforts my dad made for me since I was a little kid, to bring me where I am today, winning the world championship. So we made a new version of Jose's old helmet design. You can see it coming through in my helmet, and both have my dad's original logo on the back. It's a very personal thing for me as it's really special to be able to drive with this design. We thought it would be a great idea to bring this alive and back for Zandvoort and hope all fans also from my dad back in the day will appreciate it. I hope you will love it too, the Dutch driver added further. Max Verstappen showed his class when he got a direct promotion from Formula 3 to Formula 1 category at the age of 17 despite his inexperience in even handling the Formula 2 car. The most surprising fact is that he got that opportunity even after finishing that year's championship only as third overall in the standings. Red Bull took a huge risk in promoting Verstappen directly into Formula 1, and the rules of the Formula 1 are also changed after Verstappen's promotion. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko is the person who is entirely responsible for the promotion of Verstappen directly from Formula 3. After winning the 2013 World KZ Championship, Young Verstappen was snapped up by Van Amersfoort to take part in the FIA Formula 3 European Championship. At the age of 16, Verstappen won six consecutive races in his debut season of the Formula 3, catching the attention of many Formula 1 and Formula 2 teams. Verstappen was able to catch the attention of Helmut Marko due to his unique driving style, and Marko says that watching Verstappen in Formula 3 is a completely different experience compared to the other drivers in the same category. First, he partnered with Carlos Sainz at Red Bull's sister team Toro Rosso for the 2015 season, and this rookie driver showed great potential as a future world champion at that. He was unstoppable at Toro Rosso and was directly promoted to the Red Bull senior team in the midway of the 2016 season. Replacing Daniel Kvyat he showed his class at the 2016 Brazilian GP by driving with greater control in a fully wet condition. Verstappen made great progress race by race, finally being the number one choice of Red Bull administration. He had to wait till the 2021 season to become a world champion until the Milton Keynes-based team produced a championship-winning car. He carries the same rhythm to the 2022 season as well by winning most of the races this season especially after some great performances this year like the Belgian and Netherlands where he managed to work his way up from behind to P1. The number of championships to his name doesn't make any sense to the real talent within him. If Red Bull Racing is capable of producing championship winning cars constantly in future, he will prove it statistically as well. Whatever happens, 2022 is a great year for Verstappen. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to not miss anything related to Formula 1. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.